Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it is a divinely designed regenerating system designed on a moment-to-moment -moment basis to heal itself. And while that may seem like a miracle to some folks, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have a question about ingredients, formulations, anything we're speaking about here today, or if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. If we've left you on hold in the past, call in early, tell our call screener, and we'll get you first up at 844-236-6010. Of course, if you have questions about our Truth Skin Health products or ingredients in any of our Truth Skin Health products or any skin health products or any skin health questions for that matter, I've been in the skin business now for uh, since 1983. For 34 years, I've been formulating skin health products as a compounding pharmacist, and I have learned a thing or two about the skin in that time. You know, when you're formulating skin products as a, as a compounding pharmacist, you don't care, uh, and your patients don't care, what the product smells like, what the box looks like, what the movie star said about the product. They just want the product to work. So I am trained in the art of skin health, skin products that work, that actually have a medicinal property, that do something medicinally, that do something therapeutically, that do something to actually grow tissue. And that's really what it's all about in skin health products or skin care products. You want to grow tissue. You want to actually make things happen, uh, make things happen at the cell level. The cell makes things. The cell is like a little Play-Doh extruder machine. It makes things. And you want to upregulate the activity of a cell if you are serious about changing changing the quality, texture, look, appearance, health of the skin topically, and it can be done. And this is what I learned as a compounding pharmacist, working with people who had burns and rashes and eczema, and that's actually how I came up with my Truth Treatment products. Truth Treatment products, which you can find out all about, of course, at truthtreatments.com, are formulated with uh, to take advantage, to leverage everything I learned as a compounding pharmacist in terms of growing tissue, growing skin, making things happen at the cell level, making the cell work, making upregulating the activity of the cell, not compelling the cell to work, not forcing the cell to work, but putting raw materials in so the cell can do its work of making collagen, of making new skin cells, of upregulating moisture factors, everything you want in a skin health product, in a topical product, whether it's anti-aging or anti-acne or moisturizing or whatever, is all about upregulating, that is making cells or, or, or facilitating the activity of cellular, uh, of cellular dynamics, making, uh, uh, making cells do their business even more efficiently, helping cells do their business more efficiently. And it can be done, but you've got to have the right strategies, and that's really what health is all about, upregulating the activity of cells so that cells can do their work. We do it with raw materials, we do it with nutrition, we do it with oxygen, we do it with supporting detoxification. That's really all health is, folks. There's no room for medicine in any of this. Medicine is not about health. I, 
I don't know how many different ways I could say it, and I've been, I don't know how long I'm, I need to say it because I've been saying it for years in all kinds of different ways. Medicine is not about health. Medicine is not about health. That's not what medicine is about. Medicine should be about uh, repairing trauma and repairing damage, but what the medical model has done is insert itself where it has no business, and that is in taking care of our day-to-day -day health. And this is why you know, we, can, we can wring our hands all about it and, and scream and, and gnash our teeth all about how the medical model has failed us and the medical model is useless, and I'm guilty of it too, by the way, but that's not their role. You know, they've they've, uh, they've uh, taken over a role that we've abdicated. Nature abhors a vacuum. And when you create a vacuum in your power, somebody's going to always be there to take it. We've created a vacuum, or we've been induced to create a vacuum in our power. And you know what? The medical model has come in to fill it. And that's not their fault. That will always happen. But we can, uh, first of all, it, you know, if they were doing some good, that would be one thing, but they're not doing any good. That's why we're so sick. And then we go to the doctor and he gives us a, a beta blocker to stop our heart, which will lower our blood pressure. I mean, the stupidity of it is endless. And the point here is not to highlight the stupidity of it. It's just to say that we can take our power back, get on a nutritional supplement program. You know what? You don't want to know uh, Obamacare, Affordable Health Care Act, all that nonsense that's going on in Washington and the politics about insurance. Nobody wants VA style health care. Go ask a veteran, or if you're a veteran, you know what I'm talking about. Do you like your VA style health care? That's what's on the way, people. VA style health care. That, does that sound good to anybody? And you don't want to, we can't scream about it, we can't yell about it and cry about it, but we can take our power back. Get on a nutritional supplement program, first and foremost. Change the way we eat. Change the way we breathe, or at least breathe. Breathe better, stretch, exercise. Apply emotional and mental strategies. There's so many different ways. Don't eat the crap. You know, drive by the drive through Give McDonald's the finger. They're not your friends. You think Snickers is your friend? You think McDonald's is your friend? You think they love you? They care about you? Don't buy food from somebody or don't eat food from somebody who doesn't love you. That's a general rule of thumb. If somebody doesn't love you who's making the food, don't eat it. And McDonald's doesn't love you or me or anybody. They love, like all corporations, and again, it's not their fault. But we can take our power back. All right. Didn't mean to get off on a, on a tangent there. But anyway, uh, if you're interested in checking out our True Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, they're all made with uh, only only ingredients that will upregulate cells. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, water, silicon, oil, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. You shouldn't have to pay for anything your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. If you're tired of the baloney when it comes to treat, uh, skin health products, topical skin, skin health products, check out our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we've been talking about the importance of living foods. Last program, we ended up talking, uh, finished off talking about eggs. Eggs are a powerful living food. I consider eggs to be the most powerful food on the planet, gram for gram. An egg is a cell. It's all about the cell, right? I mean, by now, we should, I don't say it all the time, but I say it a lot. So by now, if you've been listening to this program, you know that I think it's all about the cell. I don't think it is. It is all about the cell. There's, the body is made up of cells and stuff, right? The cells are where the action is, and that's why all disease is cell disease. Cells have nutrients in them. Cells contain everything they need to be self-sufficient as long as you keep feeding the system. Cells are packed with everything they need, the vitamins, the minerals. All the stuff a cell needs is in a cell. Well, guess what an egg is? It's a cell. It's an egg cell. You're eating a cell. So you're eating everything a cell needs. It's a, it couldn't be a more perfect cellular food. There is no more perfect cellular food on the planet. And any boneheaded doctor, this is the classic example of what I was talking about, how doctors insert themselves where they have no business. Any boneheaded doctor who tells you not to eat eggs or not to eat the yolk of eggs shouldn't be a doctor, shouldn't be talking to people, shouldn't be talking to anybody or giving health advice. And, and they don't do it as much anymore, but they're still out there. Oh, just eat the egg whites. I still hear people say, oh, I only eat egg whites. The yolk is, couldn't be a more perfect food. The, there's protein in the white. The protein is most, the, the white is mostly protein. The egg has more protein. The egg has the, plus the magnesium and the essential fats and the vitamin D and the vitamin A and the, the carotenes. I mean, there's just so much stuff in an egg, vitamin K. It's ridiculous. And most of it is in the yolk. Other foods that contain uh, the life force, this is what we're really talking about, is foods that contain the life force or foods that used to contain the life or, or were very close to containing the life force. All right, we'll take a break. And then we'll continue uh, talking about uh, 
living foods, actually. That's, I guess that's what you could say we're talking about. Living and very close to being alive foods. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. On the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you have a health challenge you or a loved one is dealing with, maybe dealing with, and you have, uh, and you're at your wit's end, you don't know where to be, wh- uh, what to do. If you don't know where to begin, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to get on a nutritional supplement program, wean yourself off your meds, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or, or recommended on the program, please call the phone team, Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also purchase longevity products, including our Healthy Start Pack, off the websites brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also check out our news stories and blog posts and videos at all our websites or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, so we're talking living foods, foods that contain the life force. Yes, the life force is a thing. It's a real thing. It's not airy fairy. It's not it's not some kind of new age hippie talk. There is a life force. It's called subtle energy. It's part of what's called subtle energy. Subtle energy are energies that can't be detected by our machinery, our detection machinery. And of course, you know, the the scientific model and the medical model will say, well, if we can't detect it, it doesn't exist. You know, that's I, I don't need to go into the stupidity of that idea. So they call this kind of energy subtle energy because it, it can't be detected. Now, interestingly, as our technology becomes more and more advanced, we become more and more able to detect things. So what was subtle energy yesterday is not subtle energy today. And all you got to do is use your imagination and predict what's going to happen in the future. Just move forward in your imagination. And you can see if the trend continues, we will be able to more and more detect subtler and subtler forms of energy. But that doesn't mean we can't, we can't assume that they're there, at least believe that they're there and leverage them. There's a guy named Harry Oldfield. You can Google him or you can get his books. He's got wonderful pictures of the life force, literal pictures. He rigged up his cameras to take pictures of these things. They've all been scientifically verified. And today we know there's energies that come off of our bodies. We have heart energies that can be measured with an EKG. We've got brain energies that can be measured with an EEG. And it turns out that there are energies coming off of your broccoli that can be measured and your other vegetables and your eggs and your oysters and yeast. And this is where life, living foods become important. Oysters are awesome, by the way. Oysters and eggs, there are probably some other, and yeast. Oysters, eggs, and yeast are the three cellular types of foods that are at least cont- that contain intact cells. I'm trying to think if there's other ones, but there probably are. Sprouts, actually. There are, there's a lot now that I think about. Seaweed. But these are uh, vegetables in general that contain cellular foods. They're cells. They contain cells. Oysters I love because they just, and yeast. Yeast is so delicious and so underappreciated. And just because you have a yeast infection doesn't mean, or you have systemic yeast, you have candida, doesn't mean you can't benefit from nutritional yeast. Candida is not the same as nutritional yeast. When you eat nutritional yeast, you're eating cells. Your body will ex- uh, extract all the nutrients from the cells and you will be the better for it. And yeast also tastes pretty darn good. Uh, so nutritional yeast, oysters, algae, sprouts, all of these are, are living or close to being living foods. Sprouted grass juices, wheat grass juice. Grass is, grass is another interesting compound. Grass is incredible, incredible food from a nutritional standpoint. All grasses are. The problem with grasses are we can't really digest them. So two things have to happen with grasses. They've got to be crushed up so that we can digest them, or they've got to be acted upon by bacteria so that we can digest them. That's fermented grasses. And uh, grains are grasses, by the way, or grass seeds anyway. And uh, 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 grasses like um, uh, sprouted grass juices can be super, super good for you, especially if they're just sprouted right in front of you because they're pretty darn close to being alive. 
formerly living foods, organ meats, veggies, dairy. These are all uh, very, very powerful, powerful sources of life force energy. Living and formerly living, or at least close to being alive foods. If you're less than healthy, if you're dealing with the big three, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, if you're low energy, Keep in mind, not only does processed foods, processed flours and grains and bars and boxed goods and packages, not only don't they contain enough of these of our energizing nutrients like our B vitamins, not only do they not contain what we need to be optimally healthy, but these things cost us nutrition. That is so important to recognize. Not only are we eating foods that are devoid of nutrition, we're eating foods that cost us nutrition. We think if we eat, we're getting nutriated when exactly the opposite is happening if you're subsisting on processed food. Not only does eating not give you nutrition, it costs you nutrition. That's like a one-two punch of disease. In large measure, that's the reason we're so sick. And it's no accident that our chronic diseases, the chronic disease epidemic that we are all living through now, began in earnest. I mean, it started a long time ago, 10,000 years ago, but it really got going about 100 years ago. When, guess what? We figured out how to process food, at least industrially. And most of us today are, are at least if not subsisting on it largely, it, we're doing it every day. We're eating foods that cost us nutrients every day. Many of us are doing it all day long. Many of us are eating nothing but those kinds of foods. And you can tell, and by the way, this is good news because if you're sick, if you're dealing with a chronic health crisis, this represents a major leverage point that is, has heretofore not been taken advantage of which means you can now start to take advantage of it, this leverage point, this, this eliminating uh, 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 processed food point and replacing it with living force food point. You can now, if you're sick and you haven't t taken advantage of this power point yet, you can now take advantage of a power point that will allow you to feel better quickly. If you are the kind of person that has been subsisting largely or completely on processed foods and you're sick and you have a disease, diabetes is a classic example, or any autoimmune issue or God forbid cancer or heart disease, if you are uh, and you've largely been subsisting on processed foods, you now have a huge point of power that you can take advantage of to feel better quickly. So this is good news. If you're, feel, if, if you're munching on snack bars all day long, if you're feeling tired, all, if you're fatigued, you just don't have energy, you now have a, power, a, a point of power that you can take advantage to turn this thing around. In the long run, your snack bars, the power bars, whatever it is, the packaged goods, the, the Atkins bars, they're going to make things worse. They're going to make you feel more tired. These kinds of foods have lots of sugar. Now, some of them, like uh, the Atkins people, understand how, how, how problematic sugar is, so they'll put fake sugar in. But the problem with fake sugar is it, it, it also activates a hormonal response. Fake, the, when the body tastes sweet, that tends to happen. So, and especially if you're eating a regular standard bar, like you get a GNC or something, the sugar in these kinds of foods and, and the high calorie compared to nutritional value of these kinds of foods in the long run will lead to deficiencies, which will lead to fatigue, which will lead to disease. According to uh, uh, Sophie Egan, writing the book Devoured, which is a very, very, very cool book that talks all about this whole snack bar phenomena. I'm looking at it here. Devoured from chicken wings to kale smoothies. How what we eat defines who we are. Very interesting book. Easy to read book. Highly recommend it. According to Sophie Egan, writing the book Devoured, Americans spend less time cooking than people in any other country, uh, Western country. 77% of our meals contain so-called prepared foods. I love that term. Prepared foods, which really means pre-prepared or prepared in some large factory processing industrial kitchen somewhere. All right, pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Right side, 844 is our number. We do have lines open for you, and we will get your calls here. Uh, just a couple of minutes. I want to read you a couple of stories. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about um, how, you, uh, how you can replace these nutrients, why it's so important to replace these nutrients that are missing from so-called prepared foods. Love that term, prepared foods. Uh, if, you're, if you are like... 
most Americans, and are at least partially subsisting on prepared foods, pre-prepared foods, pre-prepared foods, or if you're, you know, eating mostly pre-prepared foods, and many people are, you're going to want to listen in tomorrow. We'll tell you about some of the key nutrients that you want to use if that is the case, and we'll also talk a little bit more about. Uh, veggies and why it is why it is exactly that most people don't like their vegetables why not eating your broccoli is is such a meme is such a belief system out there it, kind of an interesting reason we'll talk about that tomorrow on the bright side 844-236-6010 is our number from the uh journal uh, this is from the online uh on my web, uh, website, Medscape, published in the Journal of Affective Disorders, male vegetarians are at greater risk for depression than their meat-eating counterparts, according to new research. This is from the National Institute of Health, vegetarianism linked to depression. How interesting is that? Now, vegetables are really important. There's no doubt about it, and nobody is more pro-veggie than I am, but subsisting on just veggies, being a vegetarian, uh, you got to be careful. I'm not going to say you can't do it. I'm not going to say you can't live a nice, long, healthy life not doing it, and certainly not eating a lot of meat is definitely a good idea, especially these days, if you're not hunting your meat and eating wild game. But none, that being said, Vegetarianism can be a problem, pure vegetarian. If you're just going to be a vegetarian and not really pay attention to things like the B-complex, or like vitamin B12, I should say. Vitamin B12 is basically only found in animal products. You can, if, we used to be able to get vitamin B12 from uh, nitrogen-fixing bacteria that live at the roots of plants. Plants don't make vitamin B12. Only animals make vitamin B12. I should say only bacteria make vitamin B12. I should say bacteria. Animals use the bacteria to get the B12. So uh, when a cow is eating grass, it's going to get the vitamin B12 as the bacteria are, are f either the bacteria are, are kind of working on the grass or from bacteria that are, should be in the grass when it's being eaten. This should be in the soils. Pesticides and, uh, kill those bacteria, and everybody is deficient in B12 unless they're supplementing. That's the problem with pesticides. They kill the good bacteria as well as the bad guys. And the good bacteria making the B12 are are, are pesticide-laden veggies, and even if you're eating organic, you're still going to be getting pesticides in the water, are going to be at least deficient in B12. So we're all going to be deficient in B12, but if you're not eating animal foods, you're going to be extra deficient, so at least make sure you're supplementing. Best way to get B12 is intramuscular, in my opinion. Also sublingual. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Let me read one more. Oh, let me read. This is, this is really good. Parkinson's is partly an autoimmune disease, according to a study. Research, this is published in the journal Nature. Researchers have found evidence that autoimmunity plays a role in Parkinson's disease, the neurodegenerative movement disorder. Now, I don't know if it's autoimmune, but it's certainly immune because everything's immune. All right? We got to understand that every disease we deal with is immune slash inflammation. They're the same thing, essentially. Inflammation is how the immune system shows up. All diseases are microinflammation, all of them, a chronic long-term degenerative disease, all of them. Anything that goes wrong is inflammation. There's a really crazy commercial, dumb commercial, where they talk about inflammation. They go, did you know that your pain is caused by, drumbeat, inflammation? Well, yes, it is. Everything's caused by inflammation. All health challenges are inflammatory in nature, which means that if you want to deal with it, if we want to deal with our, our diseases, we've got to figure out this thing called inflammation. So what is inflammation? It's the immune system. What is the immune system? It's defense. That's pretty much it. The body's being attacked. It's responding. And attacks can be... Uh, they can be a positive or they can be negative. A positive attack is like something attacking you. A negative attack is when you're missing something. That's also a type of attack. As in deficiencies, as in deficiencies of nutrients and as in deficiencies of oxygen. They represent attacks. The body responds with an immune, uh, responds accordingly with an immune system action. That immune system action is inflammatory. Bingo. It's all about defense. It's all about defense, either defense from something that's getting into the system or defense from, uh, as a result, uh, defense response is activated as a result of something not getting into the system that should be there. The wrong thing is getting in, the right stuff isn't. That's pretty much it, folks. The wrong stuff is getting in, the right stuff isn't. The wrong stuff getting in can be thoughts and emotions as well as it can be foods. The right stuff isn't can be uh, uh, nutritional, nutritional components emotional and, and, and uh, mental aspects, good thoughts not getting in. 
power thoughts not getting in, power motions not getting in, as well as nutrients not getting into the system, as well as oxygen not getting into the system, as well as a little exercise or stress not getting into the system. That's all disease is. It's the wrong stuff is getting in, the right stuff isn't. Pretty much as simple as that. That activates a defensive response. The defensive response shows up as inflammation, and boom, you're off to the disease races. One of the problems is, is we don't recognize the distinction between microinflammation, which is tiny microscopic inflammation, and big inflammation. So when we hear inflammation, we don't kind of, it doesn't compute in the brain because we're like, oh, inflammation means I got a swollen ankle or a black eye or I got a bruise. Well, yeah, yeah that's macroinflammation. That same bruise, that same swelling is occurring at the microscopic level as we live our lives, more and more as we live our lives. Gradually, beginning at birth, unfortunately, and sometimes even in the womb, this inflammatory process, micro-inflammatory process is bubbling underneath the surface. It's beginning. And we don't notice it. Because when it happens at the level of a cell, at the microscopic level, it's almost insignificant to the body because the body is so well able to well equipped to handle these things. So you don't even notice it. And then it happens a second, and a third, and a fourth, and a hundredth, and a millionth, and a billionth, and a trillionth time. And finally, we notice it. It reaches a critical mass. It's like the straw that breaks the camel's back in inflammation. And boom, we say, oh, I just got arthritis. I was just sitting here minding my own business watching TV. And all of a sudden, I got arthritis. We even say it. I got arthritis. I, I have it. Like you catch something. And we're encouraged to think that because there's, of course, there's drugs that will get rid of the pain, get rid of the inflammation. They can't fix the joints. No, they can't do that. They can't repair the cells. But what they can do is they can get rid of the inflammatory response, the defensive response. And that's why anti-inflammatories are so problematic because you don't want to get rid of the defensive response. You want to figure out why it's there. You don't want to just mechanically get rid of it. You don't want to just artificially get rid of it. That's why you get toxicity, and that's why you get side effects. So I am not surprised when I read Parkinson's disease is linked to autoimmunity. I don't know necessarily if it's autoimmunity or if it's immunity. Nonetheless, it's the immune system. And oh, by the way, tell your neurologist, who does very likely does not know this. I don't want to say it. It's a good possibility he doesn't know this. There's an immune system in your brain. They just It, it was just discovered not even a year ago, probably this year sometime. They discovered an, an entire immune system in the brain. They used to think the brain didn't have an immune system. It does. And brain diseases are immune in nature. Parkinson's, Huntington's, uh, Alzheimer's dementias, and other dementias, they are inflammatory and immune in nature, which it, it, their, their, their quality, their, their main characteristic is that they're inflammatory and they're immune. And in that understanding, you have the, the, uh, the, your major key to reversal of any of these health challenges, or at least helping your, somebody who has these health challenges feel better. Figure out what's getting in that shouldn't be. Figure out what isn't getting in that should. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Oregon and welcome Mary to the program. Good morning, Mary. Morning. What's going on? Um, real quickly before I get to my topic, the TSC TMR is not on the Ungevity website. Uh, the TMR? It's not called TSC TMR. It's just called TMR. It's not on the Ungevity website? They just have vanilla and chocolate. That's the chia seed. That's the stuff. It, he just well, doesn't call it... Yeah, chia seed is the chia seed is in the TMR. The chia protein is in the TMR. Okay. So it's not All like right. a special. It's not like a special chia seed tia, version of it or anything. Does that make I sense? I thought he said that he had five kinds, but that's yeah. okay. No, no, no. Listen, Mary. Listen to me. He's got five kinds of protein in the TMR. The okay, TM, great. You got to understand, the TMR contains five different types of protein, one of which is, is chia seed protein. And by the way, I did a talk, I just was in Oklahoma this weekend, and I did a talk for Stan uh, of, of uh, Stay Naturals, and I was, I was pretty much living on that stuff, the TMR. Man, is that stuff delicious. And now he has it in little bottles, by the way. So you can just uh, carry it with you. If you're traveling, you can carry it with you. It, it's like prepackaged in these little bottles. You just add water and shake it, and it is so delicious, it's unbelievable. And it does contain chia seed protein. Okay, well, um, I'm hoping you'll come to Corvallis because they spend a lot of time there, Corvallis, Oregon. Tell them. Tell Stan. 
Do you know how to get a hold of Stan? I yeah. Mean, I can't. Yeah, just call Stan. Tell him you want me to come. To, I love Oregon. Okay, Love, great. love, love Oregon. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of Oregon. A little too rainy for me to live there, but it is darn beautiful. Okay, okay. so what's going on? What's going on, Mary? A friend of mine um, was told by a naturopath, and we know that doesn't really mean a whole lot, but anyway. Uh, that's true. Um, that the body can't use the, gly- the glutathione and the immortalium. He told him it only lasts two minutes in the body. That's true. Glutathione is destroyed. Although, you know, let me say, let me, um, let me, rep- let me uh, take that back a little bit. It used to be thought that glutathione does not make it through the intest- or through the stomach intact. It's a protein. It's a, a an amino acid combination. It's three amino acids strung together, and there's acid in the stomach that breaks that up. However, lately it's been shown that a little bit does get through. So for the most part, that doesn't, that, that's true. For the most part, that's true. That's why you want your glutathione in a protected form. But the best way to get your glutathione, in my opinion, is by using whey protein. Why? Because whey protein contains all the building blocks of glutathione. That is glutamine, glycine, and cysteine, these three amino acids. And they're all found in whey protein. In addition, selenium and sulfur play a major role in the stability and structure of the glutathione molecule. So you want to be supplementing with those. And they're also found in a lot of in whey protein and a lot of high protein foods. At least the sulfur is. Probably a small amount of selenium is as well. So his point is well taken. Uh, you're really not going to get a lot of benefit from glutathione taken orally, although recently it's been shown that a little bit can, can possibly go through, get through. But for the most part, you're your naturopath is correct on that. Great. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks for your call, Mary. Good to talk to you. Have a great day. All right. Let's go to Elaine in Alaska. Good morning, Elaine. Hey. Good morning, Ben. How's your day going? My day's going great. I love the morning. I'm a total morning person. Are you? Me too. Definitely. Yeah. Here is just a little bit earlier than you. So, um, yeah, just a quick comment and a question. Uh, just a shout out to, I think his name is John. The underwear guy. Oh, underwear guy. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, his name. Um, I've got on my website, uh, barefootwellness.com, uh, it's called 10 for Life, and it's basically 10 exercises that you can do in a kind of a small area. So I thought maybe nice. that. Barefoot. Yeah. Give me the website again. Give everybody the website. Barefoot. Uh, bare, like the animal. B-E-A-R. Okay. Barefoot. Nice. Yeah. Barefootwellness.com. Okay. Barefootwellness.com. I'm going to check that out for sure. Thank. You. I didn't know you had a site. Thank you for sharing that. Go there, the Facebook uh, page, and get some more ideas there. So. Okay. Good. Good deal. Uh, Thanks for doing that. Yeah, you bet. My question. I don't know if you have ever come across the book by Anthony William, Medical Medium. Uh, uh, oh, I have heard of the book Medical Medium. I didn't know who wrote it. Uh, It's kind of like a guy who does, he's like a psychic kind of guy, and he does medical, intuitive intuitive medical stuff. Is that right? Uh, Yeah, it's it's a very, very fascinating read. Um, He he talks about the adrenal glands in there. Is that the book where he talks about the adrenal glands? Well, I've just started it, and he's talking a lot about uh, autoimmune issues and related to the Epstein-Barr virus. Yes, that's the right. That's the book I read, or I saw. I didn't didn't actually read the book, but I I read through it at the bookstore. I wasn't buying into that, though. I wasn't buying into the whole Epstein-Barr virus thing, and I was surprised that if he was a medical medium, he didn't see a lot of other things going on, such as malabsorption of nutrients, such as nutritional deficiencies, such as hypoxia and stress. He doesn't talk about a lot of this stuff, uh, but he talks about the virus. And I don't like thinking that we're under attack by viruses and that's where the problem is. Yes, we're under attack because it's a jungle out there and everything's trying to eat everything else. But I like to think that we're well equipped to handle viruses and bacteria, et cetera, that our immune system can handle those things. And he doesn't really, he kind of, I saw him blaming viruses a little bit too much for my, for my liking. Am I wrong? Well, yeah, that's kind of, I've, I've gotten about a third through the book, and that's yeah. pretty much all he's talked about, but yeah. I have not finished the book yet. That's okay, very- finish it and let us know, and I, I might have to look into it myself, but when, I remember leafing through it and thinking, man, he's blaming viruses a little too much for my tastes. Okay, okay. So, I'm yeah, always skeptical when they blame viruses, when they blame ba- germs, you know? Like, like here we are minding our own business and the germ just, or the virus attacks us. Does it happen? Probably, but the body's well equipped to handle these things and that's what we want to focus on. How we handle or how we pr- uh, give the body the raw materials or the resources to handle things. Right. I, w- right. I want to get one more call in line. Did you have anything else you want to ask or add? Uh, 
Just uh, thanks for helping the hundreds and thousands of people. Uh, At least yeah. hundreds. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey. That. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. Bye, Elaine. Have a great day. Thanks for calling. Okay. Let's go to Minneapolis and say good morning to Ron. Hello, Ron. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey. How you doing? Doing uh, good. Yeah. We talked to you last week, you know, about, I believe it's uh, probiotics. I think that or you wanted me to take, but I tried to get on your website. I Maybe Nightly Essence. I want Nightly to Essence. Yeah. Yeah, What's, for gas. Remember, I have gas when I wake up in the morning. Yeah, I told you to to change what you you were telling me you were eating some kind of protein before you went to bed. I think wasn't that what you told me? Exactly. What were you yeah, eating? Actually, I'm finding when I'm not eating it. So turkey, I'm not having it when I don't have turkey. If I have fish, I don't have gas. So well, there you go. That's exactly my point. Okay, I'm sorry, so, Ron. I'm losing you. Say that again. Should I just eliminate the the turkey and just stick with fish then? You know what we say in pharmacy school? Let your body be a laboratory. And believe it or not, they actually tell you that in pharmacy school. Let your body be a laboratory. You got to test things out. Now, I'm not saying if you're a pharmacist you want to test all your drugs out, but I am saying that you want your body to be a laboratory in how you live your life. You want everything to be a laboratory. You want life to be a laboratory, but especially your body. And this is why food diary is so important. This is why elimination diet is so important, or a food diary and the elimination diet are so important. You want to test things out in your body. I'm just giving you guidelines. I'm giving you general information, but when it comes right down to the specifics, you got to let your body be a laboratory, and, and you're doing it brilliantly. You just found out that Fish doesn't cause the problem. Turkey does. Bingo. Do you know there's no doctor in the world that could have helped you with that? Not a doctor on planet Earth has any medicine, and they would have given you medicine. You better believe it. If you went to a doctor and told him what you told me on the phone, you would have gotten an antispasmodic. That is a drug that sh shuts down the digestive system. Literally. Oh. Uh, that's what you would have gotten. It would have caused constipation. It would have caused malabsorption. It would not have gotten rid of the problem. You would have continued eating your, your turkey. And you're a classic example of, number one, the uselessness of the medical model, and number two, how it doesn't matter, how we can take, it our, take care of it ourselves. Uh, Ron, you just add years to your life. You just reduce your risk of every single chronic degenerative disease there is. You're uh, conserving nutritional resources, and you're feeling better all by yourself, no doctor involved. How do you like that? Do you know how powerful that is? Don't take it for granted. We take these things for granted. That is so powerful what you just accomplished. All right, now I didn't mean, I only got about a minute here, so what is your question? What, did you have a specific question? Yeah, there was a supplement you told me to get online, but I went to your website and I, for some reason, I couldn't find it. I Here's, let know. me give you another strategy. Let me give you another way to do this, okay? You got a pen? Can you, can you write? Yep. Yep. Call, eight, call 866 735 okay. 2470, 866-735-2470. That's not just for Ron, for anybody out there who wants a personal, somebody to personally help them with a specific product or order. That's the Brightside Ben phone team, 866-735-2470. Ron, that's the music. I got to go. If uh, Okay, good. Good luck. Thank you, for, thank you for everything and congratulations. I love that. Love hearing success stories like that. All right, 844 I'm sorry, 866 735 470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. If you're interested in purchasing any Longevity products or signing up to join the Brightside Ben team, 866-735-2470 is their number. Or head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and sign up off the websites. Also, check out our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.